Hey everyone, uh, in this assignment uh, we're getting started um, cutting our, link, our car to length and adding axle holes, which will be basically watching this video and the next video um, in our CO2 car model in SketchUp for Schools. Uh, once again, getting to the 4.3, there's a video playlist, which is the same length that we used last time. Um, and the other thing is we should have our CO2 car here to open. Um, one of the things I'm going to mention before we get going here is in this video, we're going to be all about cutting our car to length. Okay, that's the first half of this process. So uh, the thing that says here is we should be um, cutting it to something 214 millimeters to 305. Um, the smallest it can be is 210. I kind of leave four millimeters on the end just to make sure that we have our car to length because if you, if you don't follow the specifications, um, you won't, uh, if you do beat me, I'm not going to buy you lunch. You got to have all the, I guess, I guess, follow all the rules in order for that to happen. Now, um, how we do this is we're going to go to our car in SketchUp here. I already have my piece. Um, I'm sitting in my uh, front half car for modeling in my scenes. And the thing I want to do next is go to that front view, which uh, we used the top view a lot in the last assignment. This time we're going to use the front view, which is directly below in the middle. Now, once we select this, remember the scroll out, scroll in to make sure our car is kind of relatively in the center of our screen. And the tool that we're going to start by using right away here today is the one that makes guidelines. And we found out that that is the tape measure. Now, selecting the tape measure tool, uh, there's one thing I want to do before I get going. And that is remember that this is a component. So in order to edit this component, we got to be in it. All right. That's a right click in edit component or a double click. Now you see that bounding box, and now you're ready to start. If you do it without doing it, you're going to see some purple, I think, dots and lines, and that's not good because it, it's not going to change anything. It's not going to actually change your model. So I double-clicked in. I've, I'm editing my component. I can see the bounding box on the outside there. Tape measure tool. I believe it's the letter T. And then I'm going to go from the back edge here. Now, if you notice, when I scroll up and down the back side here, or slide up and down the back edge, you'll see that it says edge, uh, and it, the, I guess the height you're at. Um, if you're on the face or anywhere else, it'll tell you that too, but we want to be on the back edge. And make sure you click with the hook, and then slide towards the front. Once we slide towards the front, we can just click to drop it, and then all we want to do is pick our overall length of our car. And like I said, it can be as short as uh, 214, which is end up, will end up being 210, or as long as 305, which I believe is the longest part of the model. Um, I'll explain in class it, uh, what you want to do, and you can kind of decide that way. I'm just going to go and make mine right now for this being just 250. So 250 millimeters, and I'm going to hit enter. Now, uh, my line didn't move much because I was really, really close to being 250 when I clicked and moved it. Um, but now I have a line coming up from the bottom edge that was already there. That's, the, I guess, the height from the bottom uh, edge where our axles will be. And then I also have one from the front to the back um, where that line is going to be. Uh, and that's the cut of our car as far as the length overall. Now, how we cut this is we want to go into our uh, pencil tool right away here, and we want to connect what we just made on our intersection. Click down to the other side where you can find another intersection. And now we have a front straight line. And the next thing we're going to do is go to our ISO view again, because what we're going to do next is we're going to turn this or model uh, our 3D or our depth, and that is just going to our push-pull tool. We're going to delete this end piece by selecting the front surface and then sliding to that back edge. Notice that I'm, it says I'm on edge, and when I select on, ed, on the edge, it will delete it. All right, making our car shorter. And then if we go to our front view again, you'll see that we have now a car that is in the length that we picked with that guideline. All right, thanks for watching the video. Hope that helps. Remember to select the edge with our tape measure tool and then use the paint or pencil tool to draw the line uh, before we push pull. Thanks for watching.